Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Today there are children among me, um, children at play uh, in the recording area. Don't ask me why, but that's how it is. So if you hear uproarious laughter or even infants screaming, you know why now. Um, Nonetheless, I'm going to be talking about Van Halen again today. And in fact, uh, a song from an album that I've already covered once, but I'm going to go into slightly more detail about uh, Hot for Teacher. Looking forward to it? I am too. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. Hot for Teacher uh, is from Van Halen's sixth studio album, 1984. You'll recall that earlier I did uh, a top to bottoms banger. Um, episode about 1984 because it's an amazing record it was produced by Ted Templeman Um, unusually for a single it begins with 30 seconds of drum solo followed by another 30 seconds of instrumental stuff Um, and the ending comes from a studio demo from the band's club days uh, entitled Voodoo Queen formed in California in 1972 they were credited with restoring hard rock to the forefront of the music scene they were known for their energetic live shows and for the virtuosity of their lead guitarist Eddie Van Halen But more or less, everybody in that band is great. Um, By the early 80s, Van Halen was one of the most successful rock acts of the day. Um, Eddie Van Halen was diagnosed with cancer in 2001, and he finally succumbed to the illness uh, on October the 6th, 2020. I have had the privilege and pleasure, of course, of uh, performing Hot for Teacher um, at the Taylor Hawkins tribute shows with Wolfgang on guitar. And Wolfgang, my God, he's so talented and obviously he's a lovely guy. Um, but if you get a chance to listen to Mammoth WVH, uh, the record that he made under that moniker, it's definitely worth a listen. And bear in mind that he played every single instrument on it. It's quite amazing. So I've got to say, um, at the very beginning of the Darkness's career, I bought a DVD with all of Van Halen's uh, music videos on it, and I watched it religiously. It definitely informed a lot of the sartorial choices that I made as a front person um, and as a guitarist, actually. Uh, and it's something that I recommend everybody do, if indeed we didn't live in an age when nobody buys DVDs. <laughs> Poor young David Lee Roth with his centre parting. Oh, it's like my hair. Shit. Sweet, sweet Waldo. Oh, no, it's not. It's not David Lee Roth. It's Waldo. Sorry, my bad. Sit down. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay, so David Lee Roth is the bus driver. I forgot about that. I used to have a bus driver like that. They used to drive us from uh, Yoxford, uh, Yoxford to Saxmundham Primary School in the olden days. He used to say things like, sit down and shut up. I feel like he probably wasn't qualified or even ideally suited to um, being in such close proximity to children. But I would never, you know, I would never have flagged that back then. I'll probably stop talking about him now. It's weird how that vignette has obscured the beginning of the drum part at the top of the track. Van Halen music enthusiasts must have been livid about that. But then it forces you to buy the record to hear the song properly. So there is that. Okay, so that first bit. Okay, I can't do it properly, but it's... So it goes from A, that's an A major um, arpeggio, and then... So that's D, and then it goes D major, so... And then I guess it stays on D major, but changes the inversion. Yeah, and then it goes to G. Okay, so... I think it's minor on that bit, so so then it goes G major to... What's that? C minor. And then... So... I don't know, something like that, but it's in, it sort of finishes on a, an A major run-ish. I'm not quite sure. Obviously, 
you know, more accomplished guitarists can use the comment section to tell me where I've gone wrong there. But I'm, I'm just trying to sort of figure out what the key is, really. So the bass is pedalling on an F, F sharp. I love that riff. Okay, let's just talk about that riff for a second. So it's an A, then he starts introducing this, um, the C into it, which tells you that it's a minor. But he does it in a really... So that it, it's voiced at the same time as the um, fifth. So it does that thing that I like, where the root is implied, because that would be there. the last part of it which shows you that it goes to a D and resolves on a D. The children are away. Where are you going? Outside. Okay, cool. We'll uh, pixelate you as you walk out. Wave. Wave to the people at home. <laughs> Have fun, you guys. Be careful with my plant. Okay, right. What do you think the teacher's gonna look like this year? I mean, say what you like about David Lee Roth as a, as a vocal performer, but um, he has a brilliant way of doing um, the dramatic monologue and, and the sort of voice acting in these dropouts. <laughs> Yeah, the heavier version. Is it something? Something like that. Now, this is what I love about David Lee Roth. When he does his um, hard singing, it's so affected and you can tell he's been either smoking a lot or shouting in bars, probably a bit of both. And then he's got these got little yelps and overtones and things that are caused by damage to his actual <laughs> vocal cords. And then when he really pulls the trigger, he's got some actual kind of falsetto that he's really got control of. In this. Teacher, don't you see? See, see. Up there, you know, pretty high that is. You know, he doesn't, he never needs to be right on the money. The, the, the way he's sort of um, flying past the note and falling just under it sometimes, it's all part of the character of this, uh, of this vocal. He is amazing. So really great piece of uh, old fashioned dancing there by everybody. I mean, obviously Dave Lee Roth can dance. I'm not sure if I would say that about all of them. I don't think Alex Van Halen's too bad a dancer, actually. Which you would expect from a drummer, really. I feel like when he says pencil, he might be um, using that as a, as a euphemism. And also, give me something to write on. I think that's also a euphemism, but I'm not quite sure how it works. Unusually subdued sort of uh, physical performance from David Lee Roth there. More or less only his mouth that's moving. <laughs> the dancing's amazing. I forgot about these tan suits in the dance section. Yes, Eddie Van Halen doing one of the most iconic guitar solos on this record, i.e. the world. This is when he was playing the, the Kramer hockey stick one. There's not much you can say about the guitar solo. What you have to do is listen to it from the beginning and just appreciate its beauty. Watch it. Just check it out. One of the things I always used to think about Eddie Van Halen was like, um, it wasn't just like the, 
the taste of his bends and like his sort of signature vibrato and like the way he was hammering and everything that made him distinctive also the way he built solos and like the the, the sort of the phrases that he chose and, and the order that they appeared in was really recognizable i think this is like the archetypal eddie van halen solo hammery fast bit at the beginning cool bendy stuff some fast plectrum um pedaling Some um, bluesy, uh, blues licory, but fast. Bendy um, split harmonic stuff. Or pinches, as people in America call them. And then a really unusual bit that accents um, a movement in the music that has hitherto not happened in the song. In triplets. But that phrase, so I can't do it on the acoustic bit. So it's going from B to B to F sharp. So on that bit where it goes, it goes, it goes to B to F minor and he starts playing uh, an, in a sort of F minor harmonic minor um, scale up here and he does a thing that I go I can't do it on the acoustic I really can't but I feel like when he's playing this A and um, G sharp over an F minor or B F, F minor then um, that's a really Eddie Van Halen-y thing. I used to, used to always spot that in uh, some of his solos. Did you hear that? When it's driving home, it has these... So many little details and touches as the song develops that you just didn't see coming. They're, they're all the way through 1984, they're just, they're just not afraid to put sections in that uh, occur once and aren't in that sort of traditional after the second chorus area. They're introductions, outroductions. <laughs> and the last bit of choreography is completely and dreadfully out of time. It's wonderful. God, it really is. Uh, it's been two years now since uh, Eddie Van Halen passed away. He will never be surpassed as a guitar player. Incredible and groundbreaking. Invented a lot of the stuff that people do now. You know, he's, he was busy inventing lead guitaring, I think, for a lot of people. Um, myself included. I think he's an absolute genius. Sadly missed. And this is a great testament to his abilities so listen to hot for teacher listen to 1984 look after yourselves and each other sorry that's jerry springer again justin hawkins rides again again don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications and watch one of these two videos nice one